Steve Wilson here reporting from Nia Bay. As you well know, the Macaw Indians have been attempting to harpoon a gray whale all week long. So far, they've missed. But they've also missed the Kalakala, Hammering Man, Mount Rainier, John Curley, Keiko, the Elephant Car Wash, Waiting for the Inner Urban, and Andy Wappler. All misses. One wonders how long it will be before they actually hit something. This is Steve Wilson reporting. We get that? Got it. All right, let's get out. Yes, uh, thank you very much for that warm welcome. As you saw, there was a big commotion today about the macaw whale hunt. They were out there. They were hunting for the whales, the, the Indians and the protesters. And you probably saw this. The protesters, the ones who were trying to save the whales, accidentally ran over one of the whales. Did you see that? They hit a whale, the, the people, and they, you know, which was very sad. So then the Coast Guard charged them with endangering whales and moved the boat out of the way so the Indians could get a good shot at the whales. <laughs> that actually happened today. That happened. You know, full coverage on King 5, you know. The macaws, they did hit the one whale with the harpoon went in and then it popped out, which I'm just, just thinking those guys are going to have some great fishing stories tonight. You know, <laughs> normally we miss a salmon and we're like, oh, it was, you know, and these guys are like 20 tons. It was 50 tons if it was, you know, if it was out there. Anyway. Media was out there in full force, and I just some, want to say something about the local media. Something very big happened very recently in the local newspaper industry. Now, the, the PI, the Post Intelligencer, has a cartoonist named David Horsey who won the Pulitzer Prize, and as a surprise, we've brought him here tonight. So please welcome the PI's editorial cartoonist, Dave Horsey. Dave. Thank you. Come on now. Now. Little known fact, absolutely true. Dave and I used to work at the University of Washington That's Daily right. together, the student newspaper, and people used to always kid him about his last name. His name's Horsey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when they weren't talking about your last name, Mr. Keister. Yes. So, you know, <laughs> the years go by, yeah. and yet here we are. You've got yeah. the Pulitzer, yeah. I've got this local TV show that you're on, you know. Anyway, well, so. This is exciting. I, ever since the PI has gone to 50 cents, I haven't been able to read a lot of your stuff. So, you know, so. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Dave's recent work, but I understand you've brought I, some with us. I do. With, I have some you. of the Pulitzer Prize winning work here. Okay, we're excited um, to see this. You know. Now, you know, this was a fabulous year for cartooning. This is like, you know, just a soft pitch to every cartoonist in the country with the Clinton the, scandal. Oh, sure, yeah. So this you. first one is a cartoon I did about Bill Clinton. Okay, um, so that's... Uh -huh. and he, and he, that's he's well, saying here, he's saying, I'm sorry. Uh-huh, and that's Clinton, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, that is Clint. I, you know, as a cartoonist, you got to really develop caricatures that people are going to yeah. really understand. And, right. You got uh, the little just button. In, yeah, you in got case the they don't get it, it, you put the name there. You didn't need that button. You've got him nailed. Yeah. I, mean, that, I, that's I thought good. so. Yeah. What else? What else? Well, yeah. uh, and then uh, this is about the kingdom, uh -huh. and, and I thought it was a cool idea. It's like the kingdom is actually talking and saying, oh, no, please don't blow me to kingdom come. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Play on words there, yeah. Yeah, play on words. It's, now, it's Dave, you did thing. win the Pulitzer, right? I mean, you, 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 you do have it, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, you got something else there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is about, you know, the macaw oh, thing you were talking about. today's headlines. And I thought, okay, this is really cool. Let's switch it. We'll have the whale throwing the harpoons. Ah. So he's throwing the harpoons and he's saying, hey, see how you like it. Oh, yeah, sort of a turnabout there. Yeah. 
Anyway, that, now, you know, Dave, I'm sorry. Are you absolutely certain that you won the Pulitzer Prize this year? Yeah, I mean, I, I've got it here. You brought you it here? Yeah. Oh, let's let's yeah. check it out. Let's see it. Wow, the there Pulitzer. Is. is that right? It is. So that's the Pulitzer. Right. Okay, now, what? Uh, what, what who is that well, right there? I that, my, I guess that's Mr. Pulitzer. Yeah. And and he's he's holding a uh, like a pencil and he's ready to draw. Yeah, I'm a sure that's pencil. that, Dave. Well, yeah. anyway, congratulations again, Pulitzer Prize Thanks. winner Dave Horsey, everybody from the Seattle Whoa! Yeah, don't worry. That's valuable. That's All right. Now, another thing we have in common is that we both grew up in this city, and I'd like to ask you a question. In your opinion, who is the greatest figure, historical figure, in this oh, area? Well, that's easy. Uh, J.P. Patches. J.P. Patches. Yeah. Got to be absolutely. Yeah. They are not. So you should be very excited to see this next movie trailer. Dave, take a look. All right. You loved him as Che Guevara in Evita. He knocked you out as Zorro in The Mask of Zorro. Now he'll blow you away as he portrays one of the most beloved figures of our time. Antonio Banderas in The J.P. Patches Story. Wow. As host of the longest-running children's program in the country, J.P. Patches has become a virtual living legend. We have many people worried about the memory of J.P. Patches. Will he be true to it, etc.? But I want to tell America, everyone out there, that I have listened to hours of J.P.'s mannerisms, and I've watched hours of his voice, and... Ultimately, I came back to myself, which I feel is the best thing. Also, in the movie, I just wear the hat and the coat because J.P. Patches' man wears too much makeup. You know, in my country, a man who wears too much makeup uh, is very bad. Nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying he's very bad. Ah, what a lovely day in the playhouse. Huh? Patches, Patches, look at how quiet it is. It's lovely here. Griswold, don't you feel good like you knew you would? But only one person could ruin this day. Do you know who that is? That's right, the meanie man. Boris says what, the second meanest man in the world. Do you know where he is, Griswold? Do you know where he is, boys and girls? I think I hear him sneaking up. Shh, he's here. I know he's here somewhere. Shh, quiet, quiet, shh, he's here. Come. I see him. Hi, Boris. Gosh. <laughs> You'll find all your favorite characters in the J.P. Patches story, with one exception, J.P. sidekick, Gertrude. Hi there, Miss America. Hi there, Gertrude. Gertrude, Gertrude, yes, you know, Gertrude, in my country, a man who wears a dress is very bad. Nothing wrong with that, he's just very bad. Now, let's look in on the Patches pals in the ICU 2 TV set. <laughs> all right. There's Jimmy. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Look in the dryer. You'll find something special. But look behind you, Jimmy. Your parents want you dead. What? what watch out, Jimmy! <laughs> now it's looking on Melanie. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, she's eating that chocolate cake again, which I explicitly forbade her to eat. Do not eat the chocolate cake. Don't you take a bite. Melanie, I told you, don't bite the cake! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Grandpa TikTok. Let's ask Grandpa TikTok what time it is. Grandpa TikTok, what time it is? I don't really know. You see, the clock is above my head. Aye, and what good are you? Uh, uh JP, huh? why don't you sing a song, the Patches Pal song? You have such a pretty voice. Ah, uh, that is true. You may live. Thanks. Hi. Now, boys and girls, JP will sing the Patches Pal song. Now, you may sing along also, but real quiet so I cannot hear you. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather be a Patches Pal than Boris Buddy B. I mind my mom. I mind my dad. And keep my room so clean. I get a gang, go gang, gang, gang. Hold, keep up. I drink, gang, gang, gang. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm a lawyer representing J.P. Patches Incorporated. We're shutting down this production. What? Item number one, the exclusion of Gertrude. Aye. Item number two, the use of firearms. JP never fired a gun in his life. Aye. Item number three, improper use of the ICU-2 TV set. I own it. <laughs> Mr. Lawyer Man, I am suddenly getting a vision as we speak from the ICU TV set. I, uh, I you, I there is someone with your wife. What? Right now. Oh, yes. Your wife is very attractive, and she has been unhappy lately, no? Well, who do you see her with? Oh, let us see, shall we? 
Ah, it may be bozo, it may be crusty, but uh, you better get home because a clown is doing your wife and he's, he's doing her well, huh? Oh, my God! Evelyn! Miss Smith, give the sad man a ride home to his domicile, you silly transvestite! Don't miss Antonio Banderas in The St. Pete Patches Story. All right, that was Antonio Banderas. Hold back, JP. Hold Patches. back. Hold back. Wait a minute. JP. John Keister, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. It was just a joke, JP. Just you a understand. Joke, what you did to me, JP Patches. All right, I'm I hate sorry. to do this, John. What? You are no longer a 100% Patches pal. Oh, my God. No, JP, come on. You are a Boris buddy. No, JP, please. Yes. Give me now we, John, oh, and think oh, about oh. it. Think about what you've done. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Stand by, everyone. We'll be back with the rest of the JP Patches program. <laughs> Use the force, Luke. Obi-Wan? I am with you, Luke. But, but you died. The force will be with you always. Well, great. Oh. Hey, I'm just you know, going to play some solitaire right now, though, so I don't think I you know, really need the force. <laughs> Let it flow. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, put the red two on the black three. Look. I saw it. I saw it. Uh, uh, now bring the king down. Do you mind? I, I, I'm just trying to help. Look, it's just that, you know, when I play solitaire, I kind of like to play alone. Uh, solitaire? Yes, sir. The force will be with you always. You said that. I know. I'm bored, Luke. <laughs> You know, I kind of sensed that. Oh. You know, there was a bored rift in the force. Oh. Mm. Let's go kill somebody. <laughs> no! That's not what the force is about. Oh, screw the force. <laughs> Let's go kill something. Get your lightsaber. Come no, on. Look, not only does that go against everything that you ever taught me, but there's no one to kill anymore. I mean, Vader's reformed, the Emperor's dead. There's just, there's no need. Ah. Let's go whack Solo. He's got to come in. Solo is my friend. I'm not going to kill him just to give you something to do. Uh, he's banging your sister, you know. <laughs> I know that. Still, you can't just kill people because you're bored. I mean, that's not what being on the good side of the Force is all about. You know that better than I do. You're a Jedi Knight, for crying out loud. Act like one. I need a woman, Luke. Oh, God. <laughs> well, let's not go there, Obi-Wan, okay? Let, let, let's go pick up some babes and go see the new Star Wars movie, huh? I couldn't get tickets. Oh. I bet Harrison Ford got tickets. Shut up. Yes. <laughs> His career really took off, didn't Look, it? Would you just shut up about Harrison Ford already? Indiana Jones, Witness, Air Force One. Leave me alone. Uh, we could go kill some Ewoks. I never liked them. <laughs> Nobody liked the Ewoks. Oh, how about George Lucas? He doesn't even return your calls anymore. But George is a very busy man. I'm sure he'll call. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that, Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may as well be, well be back in the cave with the sand people. Look, if you don't like it, just go do something by yourself, okay? I need you to drive. I am not going to drive you out to kill George Lucas just to entertain you, all right? All right. That is not the card you're looking for. This is not the card I'm looking for. You don't want to play cards. I don't want to play cards. You want to kill somebody. 
I want to kill somebody. You want to kill George Lucas. I want to kill George Lucas. Ah, I'll get the keys. Tonight's Late Report is sponsored by Devonshire's English Tea Room and Casino. Stop by soon for some chamomile tea and pie gal poker. The Late Report, sponsored by Devonshire's English Tea Room and Casino. Well, the second annual Toy Guns for Teddy Bears exchange was held last weekend at the Seattle Center. It went so well that an even more daring exchange is being planned. Actual guns for real bears. <laughs> the Marysville City Council has changed some proposed new signs for local creeks from warning, polluted water, unsafe for recreation, to no swimming, no wading, fecal coliform. However, after some residents expressed confusion, the signs have been changed once more to caution, poopy water. <laughs> Plans are underway to build a five-story apartment building of moderately priced apartments over the McDonald's restaurant on 3rd and Pine. The units will be studio and one-bedroom apartments, but renters will also have the option of supersizing them. According to reports from Iceland, Keiko still hasn't figured out how to feed himself in his holding pen. Experts believe they have spotted the problem. Keiko has no arms. <laughs> and now here with a comment on the season is our own Lauren Weedman. Lauren? Thank you, John. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So it's garage sale season. Thank God. You know, every year I look forward to it. And then every year I end up at a garage sale seeing all of these personal items for sale that are somehow traumatizing. Like, for example, you know when, when people, they'll, 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 they're going to sell their old like medical supplies or something? Have you ever seen that? And the person who's selling it is like, oh, he, he's better now, but he was really sick for a while there. So we don't need those surgical gloves. I mean, they're used. They're still good. Just a little stretched out. You know, oh, the catheters, we hate to throw them away. You know, no, 25 cents. Go ahead, take them. Two for 50. And this was, okay, this was especially disgusting. Last weekend, I was at a sale, and this woman was selling her daughter's old dental headgear. And people were trying it on. They were trying to jam it into their teeth. They're like, well, I could use one of these. This could, ah, uh, ah, uh, that thing. Oh, okay, and this is good. This is something, or this is a Halloween decoration, is what the woman told me, okay? So these are, these are supposedly little ghosts hanging from a hanger. It's like, woo! It's just basically, basically it's just snotty Kleenexes tied to strings. These are little ghosts made of snot. <laughs> Scary. And then, oh, this is something that I, I actually liked when I first saw it. I thought it was very urban outfitters and such. Um, this is a, uh, a vase with bright little jewels all over it. Now, it's completely sticky, because basically it's a bunch of pre-sucked Jolly Ranchers <laughs> that someone stuck all over a vase. That's too much! What do you, <laughs> so just let me remind you, as we enter into the summer shopping months, of the wise old saying, don't sell your grandmother's colostomy bag unless you've got some pumps to go with it. All right. Good advice, Lauren, Thank as you. always. Thank you, Lauren. Finally, the Duval Days Country Living Festival is being held this weekend, featuring cow pie bingo, a jumping frog contest, and fireworks. This year's least popular attraction, What's in Grandpa's Shed? <laughs> this has been The Light Report. Don't go away, because we're coming right back. All right, well, that's just about all the time we have tonight, and I want to thank our special guests, David Horsey and J.P. Patches. I'm a Patches pal again. Be sure to tune in for our season finale next week, featuring the return of Bill Nye the Science Guy next week. I'm not going to tell you what he's going to do, but I will tell you this. We're closing down a whole street for it. So that's next week on Almost Live. We'll see you then. All right.